Hello, welcome to TechShirmat. In this session, we will discuss one more option from the toolbar of Access Client Solution. Okay, so let me show you that option first. So I will take my mouse cursor there, and once you hover on this option, it will show the description. Run the integrated file system plugin to view files. So why we need that? As we all know that IBM I has their own IFS where we have some files like we can create our directories files in that IFS location. So what is IFS? Integrated file system. As our uh, in if we talk about the Windows system, we have that file system, right? Where we store the files and all. Similarly, we have uh, the f uh, file system in. Uh, in IBM I also where we store the files uh, which is uh, known as integrated file system so how to access that so if I talk about the IBM I itself then you can use this command work LNK and then simply hit enter so it will open that location or you can say IFS location where all the directories that you have created is being stored so these are the files okay so let me delete this file because this this we are going to upload from the system itself fine so now if you want to access the same directory or means you want to check all these details but in your system then how we can use use this so for that you can use this plugin which is the run integrated file system plugin so i will click here so it will take some time and then once your window is open then you can easily access all your files from that plugin itself okay we can directly take files from here we can upload back to the system so let's say if I want to uh, see any file from here okay let's say I want to go okay let's let's upload some file here okay so right now you can say that directory is uh, stored as slash home slash shermit so if you want to upload any file here so what you can do just go to your desktop create one text file and I have stored some data in it file uploaded from local system now just simply go back to your IFS location from the plugin and then you can right click on your window so once you do right right click here it will provide you the option for uploading the file so let me click there let me zoom out first So you can see one option here upload so just simply click there go to desktop because we have stored the file in on desktop itself now select your file and simply click on open it will ask for confirmation and if you, there is already one file so you can click on this replace existing file otherwise you can click on ok so it will take some time and then it will it will upload your file to IFS location of IBM I. So what basically we are doing here, we are uploading the data from local system to IBM I system using uh, inside IFS location using system I uh, using this uh, option uh, for plugin of IFS. Okay, so you you can see the messages at bottom successfully uploaded the sample.txt file. Now if you go to your green screen again and if you do work LNK then you can see let me relog in this work LNK and here you can see that sample dot file should be here here it is so you can take option 5 to view this data okay so we got this data similarly if you want to modify this you can take option 2 from here you can take option i for inserting a line and i will add one line data added from ibmi okay just do f3 for save and exit and then just go to your plugin again do refresh so for refresh you can use this button and then once you click here on the sample.txt right click here just, uh, just click here and then it will provide you an option for view like you can download this upload this right so just click on view basically on view also it is downloading uh, file in our local system and then it shows the file so you can see that message download completed and you can see now the it is showing the updated data 
so this is one advantage of using this option because if you want to do some changes in your IFS file then you can simply download it into your local system and then you can modify the changes and then re-upload the same to IBM I system or vice versa also we can perform like if you want to uh, do changes in IFS location then you can upload your file there and then you can do some changes if you remember in our previous sessions uh, we discussed uh, one program where we were doing the parsing for XML file so that time also we uploaded the file in IFS location in work work link right and also there was one session where we were writing the data directly from IBM my system to IFS location so that time also we use this option okay but not from the ACS we were using from work link command only and another thing is like if there is a uh, something which you want to download to your system then you can simply move that file into your IFS location and from IFS you can simply download this file okay so yeah this is the one advantage now another thing you can check here is like if you want to change the directory you can simply go and specify the path which you want to access let's say I want to go for home directory then shermit and then I want to access my folder tuck shermit so if I hit enter it will show me that particular folder so it contains two files so right now it is showing me these two files which I have created in, in October month right so it is also showing those details like when it is modified last time okay and if you want to directly go to the parent directory then you can simply click here on this button and it will take you to the parent directory which is Sharmit now if you want to clear these messages then you can simply go and uh, here you will find in like for show detail message you can click here show all directories and, and files you can click here clear messages you can simply click here in actions you can find all those options which we got from this right click once you right click on any file firstly select any file and then right click so it will show all those options again okay so same option you can find from action tab also another uh, interesting thing is preferences if you want to some uh, set some preferences let's say I want to download the file but every time I would like to download this uh, file into desktop so I can select this if I want to specify a particular location where I want to uh, uh, download all my files then I can select the specify location and I can browse that particular folder so this is very good feature like if you want to download anything then you can specify location as well otherwise by default it uh, download in download folder another thing is that initial directory so whenever you uh, click on this option it will go and take the initial directory as home directory which is slash home slash shermit in your case your name would be there your username uh, in my case my username is shermit so it is showing me slash home slash shermit okay same thing here also we can do if you let's say if I want to access every time slash home slash shermit slash tech shermit so what I will do I will go here and specify location and there I can pass that path which I want to open e on every time when I open this folder now another thing is show detail message show all directly these things you can click for uh, like this is just for the view purpose so you can select as per your requirement and here you can see all the messages which are coming to after executing the commands and this is the filter portion let's say if I want to find out all the files which is SPLF so I will simply type SPLF it will filter out those data if I want to go and search for let's say if I search for one so it will find out all those thing which contains the one uh, let me change let's make it R so it shows all the record which is uh, which is containing which is included with R okay and this option you can see for parent directory and this is for refresh so yeah these are the all thing that we can perform using this plugin and this is very important plugin if you are working uh, daily on working on daily basis with IFS location then you can simply use this option render integrated file system plugin to view files and then you can simply perform all these operation transferring data and uploading data okay so i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech